When a eukaryotic cell divides, it distributes its DNA using the mitotic spindle. The mitotic spindle consists of microtubules organized by two large organelles called centrosomes. Centrosomes consist of a pair of centrioles surrounded by a protein matrix called pericentriolar material, or PCM. In order to organize the huge number of microtubules in the spindle, centrosomes grow around 50 times in size prior to cell division. We know that centrosomes grow by recruiting large amounts of PCM proteins, but how do cells actually control this massive growth? Using C. elegans embryos as a model system, our lab has previously shown that the protein SPUT5 self-assembles into the underlying scaffold of the PCM. We also found that a key step in this process is the phosphorylation of SPUT5 by the polokinase PLK1. So we asked ourselves, is it possible that PLK1 phosphorylation of SPUT5 regulates centrosome growth and function, and if so, how? In our new work published in Biology Open, we address these questions by using a SPUT5 mutant that can't be phosphorylated by PLK1. We found that this mutant can still bind to existing PCM and recruit other PCM proteins, but it causes centrosomes to grow more slowly. This means that PLK1 phosphorylation of SPUT5 controls the rate of centrosome growth, but not its maintenance or function. Based on these data, we constructed a theoretical model in which PLK1 phosphorylation controls the rate at which inactive individual SPUT5 molecules change into an active conformation that allows them to self-assemble. Using this model, we successfully predicted centrosome growth rates under mutant conditions, suggesting that PLK1 phosphorylation regulates centrosome growth by controlling the rate at which SPUT5 switches into its assembly-competent form.